All right, so today we're going to be setting up a business card in Adobe Illustrator. So first you want to hit print document, and then it'll be in pixels or something like that. So first we want to switch it to inches, and then our standard business card size is three and a half inches by two inches. But um, most printing companies require a bleed of some sort. At schmogo.com, we require a 0.25 inch bleed. So we'll add that on there on both sides. All right. Then we're good to go. All right, so click OK. You'll see our canvas is all set up. So then let's make our bleed lines. So just select a square with a stroke, no fill, and then click anywhere on the screen. And then we're going to do the actual trim line first. So it'll be three and a half by two. And change this to just a different color. We'll do red. And then it should automatically lock in the center once you drag it around there, like so. There we go. All right. And now we're actually going to do the exact same thing. Uh, but this will be the safe line. This will be where things don't go out of. We'll do this 0.25 inches less than the business card. Okay, there we go. And let's change this to a different color as well. We'll do blue. Should be fine. And then do the same thing. Drag it to the center. All right, great. And now we have our safe lines. So let's double click on our layer and then change it to something like bleed. There we go. All right, now lock that and create a new layer. All right, and we can put this under it it's just so we can always see the bleeds. All right, double click and put artwork, something like that, just to keep things organized. All right, and we should be good to go. Now, for designing a business card, we'll uh, we'll work on the bleeds here. We'll show you how those work. So, say you want to do a business card with uh, a title brick on the top, a full color, something like that, and we'll put you know the business name probably goes here, something like that. Uh, stretch it out a little bit there we go all right center it okay and now this looks fine this is up to the trim line but we actually need to utilize the bleeds for the printing company so it prints correctly so drag the background all the way to the bleed and that's how the bleed works so now it'll trim a perfect line instead of having white spaces around the business card so now you want to just fill it out with things whatever you want names go here um, probably an address line, phone number, all that good stuff. So, just set that up. There we go, copy and paste. And of course, you can design the business card however you like. This is uh, definitely not a great business card. It's just for the demonstration purpose. There we go, put a awesome phone number. Don't call, nobody will pick up. Maybe. All right, there we go. Um, and now, usually with the safe line means you want to drag the text um, to that. I mean, that's a good margin. And you want to keep things not, you don't want to put them up to the trim line because the trim can either go a little bit more or a little bit less. So that's just the safe line. So now we're actually going to, there we go, cut the vision of the bleeds. And then we're going to export now. All right. So make sure use artboards is checked and give it a name. Business card works fine. All right, make sure it's JPEG and then save. All right, so make sure we're in CMYK color. Um, baseline is fine. And then we're going to change the resolution to a high depth. And anti aliases should stay on. And, all right. Okay, now we should be all rendered here. Now let's check this out. And there you go. Looks good. Nice and crisp. All right, so now we're going to work on uploading it to your print site. We'll use Shimogo.com as an example. So we'll click Business Cards uh, and click Upload Artwork. All right, Design Tool Loads, and then we'll click Upload. There's our design. So we'll click that bad boy. All right, as you can see, the color is extremely off, and this is because Internet browsers display an RGB color mode instead of CMYK color mode. Uh, operating systems know to correct this, so it'll look like this when it prints out. Don't worry, this is the correct color. All right, and then click finish. There we go. And then there we go. Everything's all set and you're ready to go. And that's how you order your own business cards.